Oh, what's up, my friends? David Hoffman here from David's Been Here, coming at you from my office. Yes, and today I'm answering a question I get every single day in depth, as in depth as I can. Now, everybody asks me about my, about my weight, right? Like, how do you stay thin? Like, I'm pretty good. I, I stay pretty fit. And how I do that, it's a, you know, very easy structure, especially when I'm home in Miami. I do not eat anything that makes me gain weight. I haven't eaten fast food in over 20 years. I've only done it for camera, but I don't eat it. Like, I don't go to McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. I never do that. I don't, I, I definitely, um, well, I guess I just like cut that from my life. I don't want to eat that stuff. It's not good for you. It's bad. Fast food is not good for you. Obviously, it's affordable. It's cheap. Um, but I wouldn't do that ever again. Like I don't even, my kids don't eat, you know, fast food. We, we give them a good diet. And, you know, the way I structured my life uh, the past two years, I think it's been since I started doing this. So I do intermittent fasting every day. So like at 7 p.m., we 6.30, 7 p.m., we eat dinner. We eat lean dinner, you know, always some of that protein with vegetables, maybe some rice, um, but, you know, keep it low on the carbs, always. We barely eat, you know, I wouldn't say I don't eat burgers and pizza. Uh, we do that maybe once a month where we go to like our favorite pizza place, we order from them or we get like Five Guys or Shake Shack, you know, my our favorite burger places in our area. That's like the only times where it's like a cheat, you know, a cheat meal. Uh, I haven't eaten pancakes, man, I don't even know the last time I ate pancakes or French toast. Um, I just don't eat breakfast anymore. I cut breakfast, so like I eat dinner at 7 p.m. The next day I don't eat until roughly 11.30 to one, so we're like a 16 to 18 hour fast. And this is what I eat. I go right next door. I live in South Miami. My office is in South Miami. I go to Whole Foods and I get myself, check this out. I get myself sushi from Sushi Maki. It's expensive, it's not cheap. $15.49, it's actually like 16 something for me to eat lunch, this little thing here in Miami. Not cheap, but it's healthy. And then obviously I have to have a snack later. So I'll usually have a snack here, some some nuts and stuff, and then I'll have a, you know, a little bit, a bit of a bigger meal for dinner. But I like to keep it super, super, super light. You know, I don't wanna gain weight. Uh, it's been a like a, a problem I had when I was younger. So long story short, when I was 15 years old, I weighed 190 pounds. I was a chubby, chubby guy. Uh, for 15, I was chubby, and uh, you know, I remember, like, I, I really wanted to get girls. I remember I had friends, uh, you know, dating girls and stuff, and I was 15, and no girls liked me, and I was like, man, I think it's the weight. So I lost weight, and everything changed, obviously. Um, and here you go, David Hoffman from David's been here, right? And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you what I got here. I love this. This is my go-to. This is called a sparking raw salmon roll. So basically it's salmon on top with salmon inside and caviar. And then what I do, I'm gonna just show you the process here of how I eat. I love it. So I got always wasabi, soy, and ginger. So what I do is I start by opening all the soys. I always get like three or four because each little packet is just way too little for me especially because I'm mixing in all the wasabi, right? Ooh, I always spill it. Uh, it's just like this, right? Wow, it's good. Uh, I'm a big fan of sushi. I've been in Japan, love Japan. You know, people think sushi or Japanese food is all about sushi. Obviously it is, but it's not. And this is not sushi. This is a sushi roll. Sushi is just the, Sorry, one second. Is the rice and the sashimi on top, right? So that's a good amount, right, right there. Nice. And then I open up this guy, right? My favorite, wasabi. Mm. So I put all that wasabi right in here. Mm -hmm. and just drop it in, nice. And then I get all the gingers, just, and you know what? 
to make it easier, I get my stick, chopsticks, chopsticks travel, big shout out to Luke Martin, chopstick travel, then go like this, let's put it in right, and before I do that, I'll just do this, mix it in, because it is picante, tropa picante, starting to speak Brazilian, Portuguese, mm -hmm. so I have a bunch of these, so I usually just I eat them all, so, and what's cool in Japan, if you ever go to Japan, if you ever go to any of the sushi places, like a conveyor belt sushis, they'll have like, like literally a box just like full of ginger right next to you, and you can just go to town on it if you want to. Uh, it's really good for your stomach. I love it, I've been eating it my whole life. Whenever I get sushi roll, everybody leaves the wasabi and the ginger, and I'm just like, give me all of that, right? And then what I'll do is I'll just go in here, this is like my routine. Usually what I do while I do this is I watch something I really want to watch all day because I, I never really look at my phone in terms of entertainment. I'm always working. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. You guys didn't see my video that I ate sushi for 24 hours. This is literally what I did, you know, for lunch especially. Mm. Mmm. Oh, the fish is so fresh. I put a lot of this on top, right? Get all this caviar that fell off. Mmm. Mm hmm. So good. So freaking good. Ah, can't get enough of it. And I don't get more than one roll. Because if you do that, you're overeating. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do if you want to stay fit is you gotta keep your stomach like small, right? Mm -hmm. mm. So, let me show you this guy. We have salmon inside, literally a huge piece of salmon. On top of salmon, spring onions, and a nice sticky rice, and the caviar. Sorry, I didn't want any of that caviar to fall. Mmm. This is so, so tasty, so fresh. And obviously, don't go to Whole Foods and get sushi later than, let's say, noon or 1 p.m. because they're making it right now. So that's when it's fresher. So obviously, if it sits there all day, I actually had it like the other day, like at 7 p.m because my wife was doing some of the kids at a friend's house and then I was like, you know, let me just get sushi for everything, I'll just get it fast, you know. And it wasn't, that was great. Mm-hmm. Mm. I could not have enough of it. Look at all this. Wow. Let me show you this. It's gonna pour. All of that on top. Incredible. Mmm. Yummy. Caviar. Look at this guy. Beautiful. And then you just drown it in that soy for wasabi. Mmm. 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 -mm -mm. I'm a pro with chopsticks. I literally can eat everything with chopsticks. And yeah, so that's sort of my strategy or technique on how to stay fit, you know? I personally can eat sushi every day. It's one of my favorite things ever, along with like oatmeal. But, um, you know, in terms of anything else you're gonna eat, uh, I also get salads from Whole Foods for $4.95, so actually way more affordable. Like it would be, that's like four days. This is like, I say $16, and that's $4, $4.95. So basically like three days worth is this sushi in comparison to the salad, right? And it's big salad. It's just a huge salad, like Asian salad with cabbage. Uh, that's sort of what I do in terms of stay lean. You know, my main thing is not overeat, don't eat, 
almost anything fried, no junk food, no junk food, no soda. So like I do drink wine, I drink beer, I drink, you know, Rocky, etc. I don't drink every day. And if I do, I don't, I drink it moderately, but I don't drink any sodas. I drink water, water all day long. Like I easily drink like 15 cups a day. They say like you should drink like eight full cups. I drink a lot more. Obviously I work out, so it's a little different. And yeah, I didn't say that earlier, but like during an intermittent fast, you know, in the morning, try to get in a good run or a good workout in, and that'll help you burn if you are trying to lose weight. Now, if you're not trying to lose weight, if you're just trying to maintain, you know, do this. You don't have to do the intermittent fasting, but it definitely helps. People say it's a myth. It's not a myth. It really helps. And uh, yeah, that's sort of my lunch break, you know, 12 minutes for this video. I ate a lot. Mmm. Mmm. Still tasting the caviar in the back of my teeth. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just being real with you guys, right? That's what I love about this channel. I'm being really honest, very, you know, nonchalant. Just keep going with it. Keep talking. Well, I'm getting crazy amount of emails right now, but. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to work, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Eating healthy, you know, staying fit, and yeah, that's how I do it, guys. So if anybody ever has that question again, I'm literally gonna send them this video so they understand how I do it, but yeah. And uh, in terms of anything else, yeah, I just try to just stay away from carbs. Like I love pasta, I like bread, but I limit the hell out of it. Like I straight up limit it. I don't go anywhere, unless I'm going to an Italian restaurant, and even in that case, I'll probably get like an Oso Buco, which is like oxtail with like a risotto on the side. Um, but you know, it depends. Like if I'm in Italy, in Italy I eat pasta like twice a day at least, minimum, right? But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. If you have anybody that ever uh, wants to know about like you know how to lose weight, how to stay fit, etc. I mean that's sort of the, my ingredients, but I'll, always with the workout involved. Add a workout minimum four times a week. I do every single day. Every single day I go for a run. Uh, I love running 30, 40 minutes every day. I'll do like a mix. I start off with like a five minute walk, then like a 10 minute run, like a five minute walk, 10 minute run, then five more minutes or to end it, just walk as much as possible. And in that time, you know, just put your phone right there and watch something, you literally watch a movie, easy. Never have to overthink the workout. That's what I always say, just get it done. Just get it done, you're done, stay fit. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next one, peace.